So being from you know the suburbs and a pretty big city, I was a little nervous to come to Gustavus and because you know St. Peter is a smaller town, but I think that because it is a smaller town, the connections are that much stronger, and I've made so much more um, stronger relationships with you know my teammates, my friends, my professors especially, and I think that's due to the smaller town, the smaller community because we're all here together and there's not so much chaos around us and I really believe that that has incredibly made my experience here beneficial is the smaller community feel and the smaller college feel. So um, I went to Hopkins High School and that's a pretty large high school and so originally I was actually looking towards um, going to a large university, a Big Ten school um, and just saw myself kind of in that environment and then my club coach was Coach Rowe at Northern Lights and so she kind of really encouraged me to check out maybe just a smaller school, specifically Gustavus. And so one day I finally came down and visited. She convinced me, and I just absolutely fell in love with the campus, the people, the community feel. It was just where I saw myself being the rest of my um, four years at, in college. So I just absolutely loved it and have been here for three years since and just happy as a clam. So love it here. So our team is definitely like a family. We're incredibly close. You know, the freshmen come in each year and within literally two days, you're all best friends because you spend so much time together in preseason. Basically, you literally wake up, you go to breakfast together, you play volleyball, you go to lunch together, you play volleyball, you go to dinner together, play volleyball, and then you have team activities every night. And it's literally the most fun. Like preseason, although it's a lot and it's hard, it's literally the most fun that you can have, especially we're together. Outside of volleyball, you know, like, so right now we're in off season, but you know, there's always a volleyball table in the calf. You're always expecting to see some volleyball chicks in there. Like you can always sit down with them. Um, we have team time in the springtime, TTSTs, which is tonight. So uh, we're gonna get together, you know, talk about, you know, where we wanna go, our goals, what are we gonna do next year to change? Because last year I think we, were, we had some big expectations and they weren't all um, exactly followed through on. And so I think we're definitely moving forward next year and we're going to be really good. We're going to be really talented. You know, we're all really motivated to be successful and we're all in the gym, you know, working our butts off, lifting, you know, peppering. We have 7 a.m. volleyball on Friday mornings, open gym. So we're definitely moving forward and I think we're going to be really successful next year. So we're all on the train together. <laughs> so I definitely think I learned a lot of lessons due to being in the volleyball program here. Most importantly, my time management is impeccable, let me just say, <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but you know, you spend so much time during the weekend season, you know, at practice lifting, you know, driving to tournaments, driving to matches, you know, across um, Minnesota on the Metro. So, you know, my, I've learned, you know, I have, if I have free time, I really need to be using it wisely and efficiently. So, you know, I have school, I have practice, and then it's homework time, you know, I don't have time to kind of mess around, you know. And it's really, I don't know, it makes you organized. Especially in season, a lot of the girls definitely joke that you get better grades in season than off season just because you're so like motivated to finish your homework when you have that extra spare time. I've also learned a lot in volleyball, I guess, like learning how to kind of work with a diverse group of people, diverse group of personalities, you know. Not everyone has the same personality and you need to learn how to work together with that person, communicate with that person that may be different than you and not be frustrated with it, but just learn from that, you know, improve your communication skills based on, you know, someone that's different than you. Well, so first of all, my senior year, I'm going to be living in a house with my best friends, um, all volleyball players, and I'm really excited because I've been, you know, due to my classes and my professors, I've been granted a lot of opportunities. I'm actually interviewing for summer internships this summer, actually interviewing for postgraduate plans in, you know, sales. <laughs> and um, I'm just really excited, especially for volleyball. It's my senior year. I want to go out the bang. I want to be successful. I want to play well with my teammates and just like make it a year to remember. You know, I want to, I'm trying to find my best friends. It's going to be incredible. So I can't wait to get, get started. I'm Becca Woodstra and I'm proud to be a Gusty volleyball player. <laughs>